the one key thing about subscriptions is that you don't need to launch the perfect subscription. How can you launch and get your first paid subscriber? And then from there, take their feedback in and add more things or tweak around what you're doing to fit them. So the idea is not to have 10 million things you're providing on day one and to overwhelm yourself when you're not getting paid for it. It's how can I get my first paid subscriber? And there's psychology behind this too, which is that on the ebook retailers, which are very important. You can find new readers on ebook retailers, acquisition channels. So I'm not at all saying to abandon them. But the important thing here is that everyone pays the same on an ebook retailer. That is both a strength and a weakness. The strength is that it makes it super easy from a discovery perspective, right? They cap prices at $9.99. New readers and readers who have read every one of your books and love you all pay the same. So it makes it very easy for someone to come in who's new. That's valuable. The downside is that to someone who really, really loves your work and really wants to support you, they have no ability to do that. 